Well, hello there. Welcome to the Three Minute Booster and 30 Tools for Productivity, Day 8. And today we're going to talk about free days. How does a free day make you more productive? Gabriel, tell yeah, so us your the, thoughts. So the thing is, when we think about productivity, it's most of the time it's like you need to do, 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 get things done, you know, smash things. But you need to be in a position to do that. And when you're wiped out, it's very hard to do. You really like, mm -hmm. you're going to do a lot. You, you end up burning out. You're going to be lethargic, whatever it could be. Or you just produce, but at a very low level, you're gonna be, not going to be very creative. And so for a long, long, long time, I've, I wondered, like, this Sunday, Sabbath, you have it in different cultures. Is it like a reward for your hard work? Or is it something you do before your hard work? Mm. And I've come to understand it's more like a prerequisite than a kind of like reward. Like only if you did like six years of hard work, you can, no, it's not that. But it's something, if you rest well, you will be refreshed, you will be renewed, you will be creative, you will have much more desire to work even. And ideas, energy, all the kind of stuff. So... Even if you've been procrastinating the whole day or the whole week watching YouTube videos for eight hours a day, I think you probably need a free day. Mm -hmm. It's not that you need to reward yourself for watching YouTube all, all week long, but it's probably a probably depleted um, because it just took all your energy, all your dopamine, it's all spent, you know, all, all the kind of things you have in your body, they all, they all are wiped out. So. A free day is something, it's a day, 24 hour day uh, or period of time, as Dan Sullivan for, uh, phrases it, um, where you do things that rejuvenate you. Mm -hmm. So for me, that means mainly staying away from technology as much, as much as possible. So if that's an issue for you, you might want to choose go outside of the house. And if you can't, even leave that at home. You know, leave your phone at home if you can. Maybe go to visit a friend who you know is fun to be around who is calming maybe you go to a zoo and watch the funny animals there or or or, or you go to a museum or watch an art gallery or you just go for a walk somewhere explore the city explore town but do something that's really really low in intensity maybe i think for me mm -hmm. that's something very important uh, i might be away from other different people for me that's something i need to something to really just calm down and clear out my energy go into nature and that really helps me to reset and then the next day, I'm much more likely and willing to do something great. Mm, I love it. So what is your call to action? Use the daily planner we, we picked yesterday and just put in a big free day somewhere in the next days when you can do it. And give yourself permission to do nothing important to not read a book to, to not learn anything important, but just to be and just to give yourself space i love it well everyone enjoy your free day maybe today we'll see you tomorrow thanks bye bye